Hey guys, my name is SickaBOT1 and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Pearl. In between episodes, I got back to the end of Stark Mountain and I grinded everyone up by fighting all the trainers that were there. <sighs> and while I was there, I also went to the underground and got myself a heart scale to teach Christian cross poison in place of defog. I was considering just teaching Poison Fang again, but Cross Poison does more damage, it just doesn't inflict badly poisons. And you know what, I decided that I could live with that, so... Yeah. It won't do much good against this Legendary that we're about to face, but that's another story. When I was in the underground, it took a long time to find what I was looking for, and I dug up a bunch of treasure, most notably some fossils. Old Amber, Aerodactyl, Dome Fossil, Kabuto, Helix Fossil, Ammonite, Root Fossil, Lily, all of them are great Pokemon. I like all the fossils, pretty much. Anyway, this is Heatran. So be sure to save. I've already saved ahead of time, so let's do this. Heatran, the Fire Steel Frog of Stark Mountain. The only Pokemon of that type combination as well. It's very weak to ground, so I won't be using ground type moves against it. I'm still using Stun Spore, which is why I'm leading out with Jesse. So I always lead out with Jesse in these kinds of things, and I forgot to use a fast ball. I. Although, to be fair, Jesse probably isn't safe from that. Now, Heatran isn't highly regarded by that many people for whatever reason, probably mostly its design, but. It does have two things that set it apart, uh, well, really three things that set it apart from any other Pokémon. One, it's Fire Steel, which I've already mentioned. Two, it's the only Legendary that can be either male or female. There's a 50-50 chance for it being male and female, respectively. And third, I mean, well, as other Legendaries are either genderless or are exclusively one gender, for example, there's Latios, which is all male, and Latias, which is all female. And the odd gender ratio suggests that there are many Heatran even in the game universe. So yeah. He also has access to a powerful partial trapping move called Magma Storm. It's I think 120 base power and it partially traps much like Fire Spin is doing right here. So that is interesting to note. Okay, last time this is actually my second attempt at trying to catch Heatran, and the first time I was, I had like a sound issue where it's cut out, you know, the audio cut out for whatever reason. Now I have to fix that. And also, Surf nearly KO'd it, but in this case, Surf left it in the high yellow. And I don't know why. I, I don't know why, exactly. So whittling it down with this move is probably a good bet. And Bato's gonna tank the Siren Head. Yeah, baby! Also, this guy has Lava Plume, which I don't remember what Lava Plume does. I think that if you have lower HP, it does more, so it's like a Fire-type Flail in a way. Or maybe it's like Water Spout, where it does more if you have more HP, but uh, that wouldn't make any sense, because Lava Plume was destroying me earlier. Alright, let's start chucking Dusk Balls. Dusk Balls just were not working last time. They shook... even a couple times they shook three times, and then gave up. And both times they got me excited for no reason. Lava Plume. Unfortunately, Bonzo doesn't resist this because Water Steel. But... I actually still need Bato, so let's give him a full restore. Oh, for the best. I'm not going to use another uh, Flash Cannon, just in case it crits and KOs Heatran. Gotta mail Heatran. Still can't breed, though. It makes sense that it can't breed since it's a legendary, but uh, we all know the story behind Manaphy, right? You should. If you're a Pokemon fan, you should, because Manaphy is my personal favorite legendary. Oh, I'm still going for Heatran. Nothing. Nothing in a bucket and nothing in my pants. Because I'm not wearing my pants. Actually, I am. But there are pants in my room that I am not wearing right now, so technically, what I just said is true. I really hope I catch Heatran in this recording so that I can keep that in. <laughs> that was weird. One. Damn it. Of course not. Heatran, you 
silly fire frog that also has a steel armor. Why don't you want to be my Pokemon? Why not? Please. Nope. Apparently not. Just one shake and you're done. Much like somebody at a urinal. I don't know. That's a way of putting it. It's a scary face. We don't have to worry about Magma Storm here, it seems, because moves are Iron Head, Fire Spin, Lava Plume, and Scary Face. And to be fair, he does kind of have a scary face, so that might be part of the reason why people don't really like this Pokemon. I do, I have a respect, I have a certain respect for it. I like it better than... I... Yeah, I guess the Reggie's one. Just one, eh? Ugh. So, you're telling me that I spent days on that problem, and the answer was just one? Yeah. Shout out to Electrode. Pretty much is what I was doing there. We dusk ball this one. Just one. That's... That's brilliant. That is just what I needed. It's not what I needed at all. If you thought that's what I needed, then you are crazy and you don't really know what I'm doing right now. Come on. If, if it was just a, if it was a critical capture, which aren't even in this game, then I could understand that. The critical captures, they're like, this shakes once and it's done. I never got that in Gen 1, but I got it plenty of times in Gen 6, for some reason. Like, Gen 6 was just so much more user-friendly in a lot of ways. It was made easier. And I know a lot of people have problems with the lower difficulty of X and Y, but I I don't really have a problem with that because games were still very enjoyable, mechanics, the visuals, the new Pokemon, even though there were only 69, 70 if you count, only 72 if you count. I have trust issues with you now. <sighs> 72 if you count the Pokemon we can't get yet. I'm still waiting for that Deonchi event. I know they announced it, I just need to Wait for it to actually happen. So, should I heal Mato or should I go for this? It shook three times, so maybe I can count on this. I can't count on this. I can't count on anything. You're about as weak as I can make you. So it's very aggravating to see that you're not cooperating. Come on. Do you really want to spend the rest of your life paralyzed and in critical condition in your cave? One, two, three. You get my hopes up so well. You get my hopes up and then you dash them. You, sir, suck. Yeah. And that's another thing that I felt is easier in X and Y. Like, when I tried to catch Mewtwo, it felt so easy. Like, all I did was hit it with one attack, paralyze it, and then throw an Ultra Ball, and it worked. Uh, at least that's what I felt like it happened. Uh, this is forever ago. You probably haven't seen this, but in my Pokemon Yellow Let's Play, I caught Moltres with the first Pokeball I threw. So there's that. And uh, that's the end of Vato. You did your best, Vato. You walled out there for a pretty long time, so you shouldn't be ashamed of what you accomplished. Okay. You know what? We can probably try to use hidden power and see if that can whittle you down at least a little more. Like, maybe get you to 1 HP total. Yep, that that looks about 1 HP. I can't weaken you anymore. But, of course, there's the fire aspect of things, so... <sighs> Jesse, you, did, you gave it your all. You did what you had to do. I'm gonna give you an extra poffin back in Park Home City. Or at least... That's what I imagine my trainer is going to do. For the hard work that you put into this battle, you did what you had to do. You couldn't last very long because it's fire type. But you shouldn't be ashamed. You did good. You did good, buddy. Just be glad I'm not doing a Nuzlocke. I would never do a Nuzlocke. Let's just cut. One, two, three, click. Thank God. A couple times that I didn't show where it shook three times and didn't click. Alright. It dwells in volcanic caves, it digs wind with its cross-shaped feet to crawl on ceilings and walls, and you can see its cross-shaped feet there. 
Not deserving of a nickname. Gave me hell. And they put a dent to my team in the process. This is how it stands. You knocked out Evan, you knocked out Bato, you knocked out Jesse, which was expected, and you knocked out Milana. You suck. Maybe yeah, you maybe don't suck. I, I still like you. Oh, and yes, I found a life orb when I was trying to make my way back here. Where is my... This game, Rowan, it's right there. Um, this is the perfect place to use that, Rowan. Uh... What is wrong with you? <laughs> Rowan, come on, this is a cave. Maybe he's expecting that I need to get out of this place first. I have no idea why it wouldn't work in that part of the cave. I, I don't get it. I really don't. Uh, whatever. Let's get out of Stark Mountain. Bike it up. Down the slide we go, which is actually stairs. We probably shouldn't be biking down those. Down here. We're going to continue our way to the resort area, which is the final area that we have yet to interact with in this place. Minus the routes, of course. In fact, we're almost there. I think it's just a hop, skip, and jump there. I probably should have healed up somewhere. Let's just avoid all the trainers we can. Or you know what a better idea is? Let's fly back and heal so that I don't have to worry about getting KO'd. That's, that's foolproof. At least I think it is. Because it's a sandstorm area and it's bound to be crawling with trainers who want my head on a silver platter. For what reason, I don't know. They just want me dead because I'm a trainer. That's the, that's the gist of it. Or at least that's the impression that I get. Mighty Mighty Boss Jones. Okay, it didn't take me as long as I expected it would to get back here, so... Let's just do it to it. To the sound of... Some weird... Noises. Protector. Trade. All right, you give this to a Rhydon, and you trade it, and it evolves into Rhyperior. That's how that works. Okay, the slowdown is not quite annoying that I have to stop the recording, but if it gets that way, then I will have to stop the recording. Logic. Iron. Probably give this to maybe Yang to boost her defense. We're actually pretty close to the resort area, though. Are we? What's in this house? Your quest for power has brought you here. Very well. Let me reward your passion with some absolutely astounding moves. Okay, this is the guy that can teach Bato Hydro Cannon. Yeah, don't, don't do that, actually. Because I don't have room on his moveset to change anything. Not a thing. Sorry, I gotta keep every move he has because it's all important. Do I have to fight those guys? Probably. But, you know what, I'll, I'll fight them anyway. I'll fight the most of these trainers off-screen. I forget who's being his partner. Uh, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Uh, the thing about... Ugh. Just fighting everyone off-screen. I'm gonna do that off-screen. Like I said. Yeah. What are some Pokémon that I saw in the meantime that we hadn't seen before? I mean, off-screen, that is. Okay, here's Trap Inch. And execute. Both of which are Pokemon we haven't seen quite yet. Uh, I saw a Torkoal, and I was happy because Torkoal is awesome. So yeah, definitely. It's Ice Beam, that Trap Inch, and Shadow Maul, that Executes. I think that's the best way to do things here. Because Execute is part Psychic, and will take super effective damage, and will probably also die, because we are much stronger than it. Especially since it's unevolved. Trap Inch is not going to be able to get to go. Uh, I don't know. Trap Inch probably has Arena Trap, too. Oh, you want to grow level 62. I was not expecting that. I probably should, though, because I got a good look at his experience while we were fighting Heatran. It's like, uh... What are going to say about Trap Inch? He's slow. Or she's slow, I don't know. I still like Trap Inch, though. That rhymed. I was not trying to rhyme. Okay. Let's see. Who you got next? Sandstorm is still raging. Raging against what? The machine? Probably. Ursaring. We've seen this. Does the other trainer have something we haven't seen before? No, he does not. Or I probably should expect that. I don't know. So let's cut out the rest of this battle. Woohoo! We beat him. You're a okay. 
You're not tired at all? Uh, not really. As you can plainly see, I'm okay. It's just the game that is not okay. Obviously. And we're back! I'm in much better shape. This guy, I'm pretty sure, is not optional, so I'm gonna fight her. She's a girl. Don't get yelling at me about feminism or any of that crap. I, I don't know. Delgatti. This is the Perugly of Hoenn, except it is thin and skinny, and everybody thinks so pretty, and... It's the pre-evolution skitty. You know, all the stuff that it does to whale or I mean, come on, who doesn't know that stuff? <sighs> Femi has been done to death, I know, but I don't care. I start right off wacky. Okay, copycat. I'm not worried about that, because I used a move that I resist. In fact, Bato resists all the moves that he has on him. So that helps. Sandstorm still rages. I don't take damage, because I'm a steel type, baby. Cause my steel type, baby, is what I need to use on you. And I was paired and muse or something, I don't know. I'm sorry that I wasn't responding for a while, I just forgot to talk. Alright, is that enough to get Bato up to level? Probably not. Rage on, Sandstorm, rage on. But you will see that I do not give a care. Yanma, eh? This is a bug flying type that actually got a an evolution in this generation in the form of Yan Mega. And really the only saving grace of Yan well, The main thing that Yanma and Yan Mega are good at is speed boost. Because they're one of the few Pokemon that have it naturally as an ability, so you need a speed booster, I guess Yan Mega's your guy. Yan Mega's really good. And like I said, uh, Aaron uses one in Platinum. Doesn't use one in this game because, well, you can't get Yanma, Yanma in the main game. So, so yeah. And everybody's clamoring for Mega Yan Mega, and I kind of am too because that would be funny. Route 229. Are we on the right track? Let's, see. Let's get on map out. Use the map. Yeah, this way. Because the other way goes to the fight area, which I will be closing that out before we end the, this episode off. Do I have a repellent effect? Because I had to stop playing for... Uh, okay, I don't. I had to stop playing for an hour or so. I am... I don't have to fight you, so I won't. I don't know what that is. So... Actually... No, let's avoid you. I'll fight those guys later and off-screen, so... Don't miss much. Resort area. This is a very quiet and peaceful town, and you will notice that it has no marts. No marts. No Poké Center. Okay, it has a Poké Center, but it just doesn't have marts. Not that it's a problem, because you can just go to the resort area or the fight area or wherever. This place doesn't really serve much of a purpose. All I need to be happy is my TV. That's all I need. I learned so much just sitting here. I absorb knowledge. I learned about the Poké Chap marking maps, for instance. They say the marking map. Oh yeah, I know about that. Uh, okay. Must be an eight-year-old or something, or just a year old. I don't know. Kid who likes television. I I don't watch that much TV anymore. The weather and the terrain are all much more extreme than Sinnoh. I mentioned there would be a large variety of Pokemon here. Okay. It's not only Sinnoh's best that gather at the Battle Tower. We're talking about the best trainers in the world. It must be cool being able to get your own Pokemon in battle against people like you around the world. Sure. You've never seen me battle, though. Well, have you seen all the Pokemon in Sinnoh? That's awesome! I'm gonna travel with Pokemon when I get bigger like you! Okay, cool. How- wait, how'd you get here without seeing every Pokemon in Sinnoh? I keyed, I keyed. This is a swimming guy. I spent a lot of time in the pool when I- when I melt into the water the way Victorian again. That is... something that I hope will not come into fruition because that will be very creepy if that ever happens. I'm just saying. Can I really do much over here without cuts? Let's find out. Just take a stroll through there. Not really. Okay, there's this thing. We'll restore. I can dig it. Well, I don't have to dig it. It's just right here. Uh, I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna ignore you. They are jerks with how they put those cut bushes there. Well, whatever. Whatever, man. Let's try going in here. Let's see what they got. I do apologize. This is an exclusive establishment only open only to a select few. You might consider it a special stage for the cream of the crop. 
If you wish to enter, I suggest start by collecting lots of ribbons. This is actually an area I've never seen before because I don't, I don't have a lot of ribbons and I never get a lot of ribbons, so... Yeah. I have pretty much exhausted all I can do in the resort area, so this place really has no other things that I am interested in. It's just part of this area. I'm going to devote a lot of time to it. I am going to go back to the fight area. Pokemon appear when there's still lots of nature left, and trainers gather with Pokemon. Just flavor text. Okay. I thought you might look interesting because you... Well, you look interesting. I thought you might be interesting because you look interesting, but no. You just have flavor text. You just tell me about the world of Pokemon and how amazing it is, which... Well, the Pokemon is amazing, but you don't need to tell me that. Come on. Just down this water. Calming sea music. I don't know. I need... Let's switch to Jesse. And just keep on merry way going. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna fight the trainers off screen, like I said. If I can help it, that is. Looks like I can. It's over here. That's just a bunch of grass. I am going to pay no mind to it. For the time being. And I guess I am out of here. Fight area, we are back to you. Okay, let's see what else there is. So... I'm gonna go back to that grass area and see what I can collect, and then I'm gonna end off the episode. So yeah. You wanna know what I'm gonna be doing next episode? Next episode, I am going to be going... I am going to be going... Blah, blah, blah. That's not what I meant to say. Just a thing that you have to know. On Saturdays and Sundays, Barry will be waiting in the fight area for for you, and he will challenge you to a battle with his team. And the next episode is going to show that that team, pretty much. Show that battle with Barry. Today, when I'm recording this, is Wednesday, so it's going to be a little bit before I can record that episode, but, you know, it'll be worth it. At least I hope it will be. Cut, I mean, hit these boulders, hit them down, and, and don't get anything as your reward. Nope. That's a nope. That's, uh, disappointing. There's gotta be something behind here, right? Right? Uh, but in between the time... In between now and then, I'll be fighting a bunch of the trainers on these routes that I skipped while recording. And, yeah, as I figured, there's something there. And I think, as I am now, I'm actually very aptly prepared to handle the battle with Barry, but just to, as a precaution, I'll just buff up. Because he is the strongest trainer in the game. I think he's even stronger than Cynthia, or he can be at least. I'm just gonna tell you right now, if you beat the Elite Four 20 times, which is insane, but I know there are people who have done it, then Barry's levels grow by 20. And I think the same applies if you just beat him 10 times, like, Barry's levels raised by 10 and you get more money. I won't be doing that, I'm only going to be focusing on the first battle that you have with him. You have to water these berries. Okay, we don't have to do that. These houndoo berries, they're like hound hour, except they're made of dew. Right? Anything here? Okay, there is nothing there after all. Did I check all these houses in the fight area? I might have. Okay. Oh yeah, we did. We did see that. So there's not much else I can show until later. Next episode, we're gonna be fighting Barry, and we are going to go after Rotom, and then the f episode after that will be the finale of the after game, where I'll be going after both Giratina and Arceus. So take care.